Chrissy Swan Show. We're rolling out the red carpet for Australian reality TV royalty. Martha Kalafatidis, who you fell in love with on Married at First Sight, and then she's built an entire empire after that show. And who knew that her mother was also an icon? Absolutely. Yeah. And we'd... no one makes me laugh like Mary Kelly Fatidis. I agree. They're so gorgeous and they're going to be gracing your radios very, very soon. How was your weekend? It was big, but it was fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, of course. Big and fun is always the, exactly. the name of the game for you. How about yours? I went and saw Harry Potter and it was fantastic. That's right. Um, and in the car on the way home, I was all taken away with, you know, how how good of a parent I am and what a great mum and we had dumplings and I never did this when I... I was killing little, it. Killing it. And I said to Peg in the car on the way home, my nine year old, I said, Oh, is there anything else you want to see? Like Mary Poppins? And I just hear this little from the back seat, boring. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how well it went down. We had a very nice night, a gorgeous weekend. Stick around. As I said, Martha and Mary are coming up, and we're going to talk Rihanna's Super Bowl yes. appearance. Is she or isn't she? The Chrissy Swan Show. Say good day. <laughs> oh, we've got to pull ourselves together. We We're do. so silly. What a silly pair of squirrels. We have got Priceline vouchers to give away. 13, 24, 10. Give us a call and say good day. We're only doing this every Monday and Friday because there's out, the questions are simple. What did you do on the weekend? Tony from Melbourne. Tony with an I hostage situation. I had to go and see Magic Mike with my daughter. <laughs> I love that's how you describe it, Tony. But that was, I was very frightened for you initially yeah. because, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting you to, the first two words you to say uh, were hostage situation. I thought, okay, we're coming for you, Tony. We're sending someone out. Um, it's okay. So you went, safe, I think. you went to see Magic Mike. I could think of nothing worse. That sounds like fresh hell to me. <laughs> It actually wasn't too bad. Let's just say he hasn't lost it. What's his name again? <laughs> Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. He's not my cup of tea. I don't think I'm. I don't. I don't like that aesthetic. That sort of bag of walnut stuff. I know it's unusual for a woman. Most women love it. Uh, well, there are a few bags of walnuts there to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a price line voucher. Thank you so much for calling. I oh. love this segment, Lucille. What a beautiful name from Brizzy. Hi, Lucille. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? I love you. I love you. Have you been very happy with your name since the day you got it? No, Chrissy, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Lucille? Oh, well, Chrissy, you know how you get the Lucille ball and you picked a fine time to leave me loose wheel and, you yeah. know, Kenny Rogers every time he came on in the 70s and 80s, the you know, it was just dedicated to me. But that's because it's such an iconic name. I love the name Lucille. You know, I've grown to like it as I've got old. Good on you, Lucille. You've got the character of Lucille Ball and you've got a pink voucher in your pocket. That sounds suggestive. Um, I am talking, of course, about a Priceline voucher for you. Go crazy. Louise from Adelaide, Lulu. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? I'm good, mate. What did you do this weekend? Well, I'm a wedding planner and um, I was setting up the most beautiful, glamorous wedding for the most beautiful couple and with half an hour for the wedding to start, I suddenly hear this like alternative heavy metal rock song really loud Like, and we discover that um, there is a festival with 500 teenagers occurring next door oh. that the venue just forgot to tell us about. People that must there, be your so worst nightmare as an event not, planner. <laughs> it was not good. Hey, Louise, while we've got you on the phone, you obviously are all over weddings. And recently, last week, I think, in fact, Jack made the sweeping statement. Oh, no, don't tell Louise. That, oh, oh, I'm going to. That all weddings are a waste of money. <laughs> your <time>. thoughts. <laughs> Well, look, people do it multiple times, so I, there must be a reason they do it multiple times. It is a beautiful way of celebrating, and I guess it's just... The reason you have on. a roof over your head. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's I get true. it, Louise. It's, 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 I love attending them. 
Yeah, that's yeah. true. A yeah. party's always it's good. Great. The Chrissy Swan Show. For all your health and beauty products and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great everyday prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out Priceline.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. Everyone is talking about Rihanna's halftime Super Bowl performance. What a fun lunchtime activity that was to sit was around and watch. Great. I loved it. I mean, I don't really know anything at no I'm going to correct that. I don't know anything about the Super Bowl apart from the halftime. I'm like Adele. I'm only there to see Rihanna. Absolutely. You know, um, there's a, a photograph graph going around of Adele taken in the, uh, you know, in her little box seat, just taking it all in. I love her um, Adele's reactions to things. <sighs> her and Lizzo at awards shows are great to watch. Magic. They're really having fun. Yeah. They remind me of prize winners. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know like yes, we got in. Um, but everybody's talking about Rihanna, and particularly. Um, the way that she unzipped her uh, hoodie, red hoodie, at the beginning and sort of rubbed her tummy. It is confirmed she is pregnant. She is. Now, I've been doing some sums. Okay. Okay, so her first child was born on the 13th of May. That's exactly nine months ago. Yep. She looks to be... You show a bit earlier with the second. Okay. Because all the muscles are relaxed and used to it, you know. Yeah. She looks four or five months... Wow, so they really didn't muck around. No, so that baby, that first baby was like 16 weeks old. Wow. Like if, if that child was a rescue dog, it would only just be ready to go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? That makes her impor- her performance that much more impressive to so me. So impressive. Because yeah. she sounded like this. Sounds great. She does sound great. And moving around, she was a bit ginger, like she a ginger was. sort of... But I will. I respect that they, they made up for it with sorry her backup dancers and the staging and the lighting. It it, it was astounding. It was brilliant. seriously. With if I if I had done that when I was, you know, four or five months pregnant, it would have been like <laughs> just like you get puffed. you get puffed just walking to the toilet, you know, yeah. and you've got to do some stretches. I was looking at her move, and I thought you definitely don't have the condition that I got um, that has its proper name. I think it's called pelvic instability, but I called it hammervag <laughs> because it felt <laughs> like that. Every step I took felt like someone was swinging Ow. a sledgehammer right up into my pelvis. Wow. Um, so she doesn't have that. No. I mean, I'm no doctor, but I can diagnose that just by looking. She's all good. You were quite excited as well when you heard this song. We'd forgotten about this song. How could we forget the song that made her, you know, a household name, really? I was like, of course she's going to do Umbrella. Yeah, but what she didn't do was the song you wanted her to do and that you mentioned last week, (laughs) Stay, (laughs) which thank God she didn't because this would have put all of Australia to a sleep watching the performance. She didn't do your song either. No, she didn't. But no, she didn't. <laughs> so we hardly know her. Congratulations to Rihanna. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Tonight is a very exciting night for me. The second season of a TV show that I just love to make, Would I Lie to You, makes its return. I love when you call it its nickname, Wilty. Wilty, yeah. It took me a while to say that because I felt a bit like a loser saying it. Like, I don't know, Wilty. Sounds a bit up for yourself or something. But it is much quicker than Would I Lie yeah. to You. Um, so it's on at 8.40 p.m. tonight. After Survivor, which, as an aside, I deeply recommend. I, I hadn't watched it. L- watched it last night. It was the most unbelievable tribal council, and it's got me. Okay. So, your viewing tonight, may I recommend, please consider Survivor into Would I Lie to You on Channel 10. You're going to see Luke McGregor, Conchetta Caristo, Harley Breen, Rebecca Gibney, Charlie Pickering, who's a legend, is uh, is the new team captain. And, of course, Frank Woodley's there. I mean, you can't go wrong. Strong lineup for the first Very day. Very strong. Gibney. I love Gibney. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's great. We sing Michael Jackson's Ben together on wow, tonight's episode. that's something to look forward to. It was exactly like they just were around in my living room. Right. Truly, don't miss it. It's a wonderful season. Kicks off tonight. And to celebrate its uh, triumphant return, I'm going to play with you, uh, Jack, uh, a, a, a game I'm calling Two Truths and a Lie or Would I Lie to You? Okay. I've got three stories here. Two of them are true and one of them is a lie. This will be hard for you to have come up with because I know you pretty well 
This is our eighth year working together. You are absolutely correct. It was almost impossible because, yeah. you know, I'm an oversharer. Correct. And you're so open-minded that I feel like I can tell you anything. I'm across everything. Yeah. So, it was. It was difficult. Here is the first story. I'm going to read them all to you and then you've got to choose. Okay. When I was 17, I was approached by a talent scout while eating a parmigiana and a potato in foil and briefly became a plus-size model. Right. Second story. My cat has permanently moved out of my house. I've seen him once or twice in the street behind me. He pretends he doesn't recognise me. (laughs) Okay. Third. I once unknowingly stepped in dog excrement while on holiday in Europe and I walked it through the tour bus until, to my horror, the bus driver made everyone check their shoes. Oh, that's cringe. That's really cringe. <laughs> I, I believe the first one is correct. The plus size model. The plus size model. Eating a parmigiana. Yes. And a, and a jacket potato. I vaguely remember us having a conversation about that last year. That is true. 100% true. What's Nailed next? It. I believe also the next one about your cat hating you and leaving the house is true. Yes, and I'll have to tell I'll have to tell the story of the neighbour that's got him now and what he said to me. Can you remember yeah. the sick bird? That neighbour hates you, doesn't he? he? Hates yeah. me, and it's so funny to me. I'm going to tell we that story to later. That. So that's yeah, correct. Yeah. And then the last one about you being in Europe is a lie. It is. You know me so well, I'll never pull the wool over your eyes. But will Luke McGregor pull the wool over your eyes? Will Harley Breen be uh, be the king of lies? Or has Rebecca Gibney got it covered? She is an actress. Watch them tonight. Would I lie to you with me at the helm? Channel 10, 840. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's Clickbait. Yeah, the first time I saw this little piece of clickbait was an Insta DM from you, Hollywood Jack, that sent me a link with the words, I love this, it's so petty. (laughs) (laughs) It is. So, of course, I was in. I'm talking, of course, of Megan Fox, who it looks like it's uh, she's calling a day with her twin flame. Do you remember that? Yeah. Her twin flame, MGK, which stands for Machine Gun Kelly. Apparently, it wasn't to be. She posted a carousel of three or four photographs. I can't remember. Of course, I watched. I looked at every single one of them. Uh, she's there in a bathroom with an unidentified male. Who do we know who he is? Was she with another male in the bathroom? Yeah, there was a, a guy in the bathroom. Oh, I missed in that. the background. Yeah. Oh. But the the big take home was that the last slide was like an envelope in a flaming pit, of like a barrel, of like fire. a little barrel fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there was little uh, references to Beyonce's Lemonade album, which of course was written um, at the height of Jay Z's infidelity. Yes. It's all pointing to this. The latest. Um, I mean, love is dead, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw this coming. Um, the latest is that uh, the the rumour is is that Machine Gun Kelly had relations with uh, a guitarist in his band called Sophie. Someone doesn't matter. Never heard of her. Sophie Lloyd. And then uh, Megan Fox has gone on to her n- since deleted Instagram account. Yeah. To say, maybe I got with Sophie. I love that. Which to me is the equivalent. I'm glad she's now gone underground and deleted it because I think this is a bit yuck. Okay. That message, maybe I got with Sophie, is the equivalent of when you were 16 on Facebook and you do a status update that just goes, people lie, sad face. (laughs) Or. I know what you mean. Or. Just breathe. You know, she's wanting people to go, what, what, what? She's baiting people. Yeah, so either say what has happened or don't say anything at all. But I just love the pettiness of it and the Beyonce caption about um, you can taste the dishonesty, it's all over your face. Yeah. Or it's all over your breath. But my... It's all over your face. That's, <laughs> a, that's a, <laughs> a very, a very distinct Whoops. image. <laughs> my Bible, Dermois, which is the gossip account oh, on yeah. Instagram where everyone sends their tips to. Yes. And usually it's pretty accurate. By the way, if you love this sort of thing, you must follow Dermois. You have to be following Dermois. D-E-U-X-M-O-I. D-E-U-X-M-O-I. Someone um, wrote in saying that they aren't broken up, that there has just been some fighting this weekend between them, so Megan's just trolling him. So it's like she's just angry after their fight and trying to stir the pot, but doing it in such a public fashion. I think either way, it's over. 
Imagine if somebody did that to you. I just don't understand Shoot your shot, Pete Davidson. Get in there now, buddy. Somebody said that. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Delighted to welcome two icons of our time, Martha and Mary Kalafatidis. Did I say it right? Yes, yes. you always yes. say it right. It's one of my favourite names of all time because, you know, it's one of my greatest regrets. I wasn't born Greek. Oh, really? Oh. Mm. A lot of people are probably in the same yeah. boat as you, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Martha, I know that you're like seconds away from having this baby boy. <laughs> yes, I am. How did you feel when you found out the gender? Do you know what? It's funny because, like, I, I said the other day that, you know, when I first found out it was a boy, I was, like, a bit upset. I was planning for a girl mm. and I don't know like I just had a, I had a dream I had a girl I had a feeling I had mm. that it was a girl like from the very first second that I found out I was pregnant I'm like oh it's a girl it's a girl and then I found out it's a boy and like look for like the f- initial like bit that I found out I was a bit shocked but now that I've been like you know growing this boy for so long I'm obsessed with him and I just feel like absolutely not I don't want a girl like I'm so glad it's a boy and I just think so much cuter like cute little so boy cute. will hang out and like I do so much girly stuff already yeah. it'll be nice to have like you know just I'll do some more kind of like chilled out things get out of the bathroom stop doing my hair stop doing yeah, my but the little hair, boys I had a I had a boy first and news flash they're just human beings. They love all the stuff that you love. Of course, I they know. They really know, do. Course. They're really fun. You'll I know. love it. Look at Michael. He does more face masks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was Michael stoked? It was a boy. Or was oh he my chill? God. Michael and Mary were so excited that it was a boy. Really? I was screaming. I don't know if you saw the gender reveal <laughs> video that I put up, but the whole audio was Mary going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. I know. So you were really excited that it was a boy. Is that a little bit offensive to Martha and your other daughter that oh, you don't want another me. girl? I, I when, wanted you to be a boy. I just wanted three boys. I didn't want any girls. <laughs> so when Martha was born and they said, oh, everyone said to me, oh, my God, it looks like you're having a boy. And then I put it like Martha in my head that I'm having a boy. And when I was delivering Martha, I was on that happy gas. Mm, And when Martha came out, they said, (laughs) oh, it's a girl. And I said, no, that's not my baby. (laughs) I said, you've made a mistake. Give it to Theo. Theo, they've done something. Check. (laughs) They've done something. (laughs) They've done something wrong. (laughs) Now, you enjoyed a baby shower yesterday. Yes. How was it? Tell me the highlight. I mean, the highlight was just being with, like, friends and family because I haven't really had the chance to see, like, a lot of my friends. Like, my family come over all the time. Bless them. I love them. But they're always mm. around. But, like, I, didn't, I haven't had time to, like, be around all my friends. And, you know, when you get together as a group, there's just something about it. Yeah. Yes. You know? It's just it was such a nice energy. It was so beautiful. It was set up so nicely. It was Did stunning. you do, like, a... Um a game, for want of a better word, for my baby shower. I only had one, I think. And um, everyone brought a bead and oh. then gave me a wish for the the newborn baby. No. And then they all went on a necklace. Oh, it was nice. Yes. That is nice. cute. It was lovely. Yeah. No, look, we did like the prediction games and like stuff like that. Yeah, we didn't do that many games. I wish we had done more. A missed opportunity. I mean, Target helped you throw it. You could have had, like, a Target dartboard and played darts. Oh, my God, genius. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, that would have been so... No, look, we did do, like, a little scavenger hunt, and then we wanted to play the game, you know, the nappy game, where you, like... So you get, like, dolls. You get three dolls, mm. and you put Natella in their nappy, oh. and then you do the nappy up, and then you get three people, and they have to be blindfolded. Yeah. And whoever changes the nappy the cleanest and the fastest is the winner of the prize. Oh, right. Oh, but good. we didn't get a chance to play it. I've st- I mean, I bought everyone, like, vouchers. I've still got them in my bag, so they're mine now. <laughs> um, we didn't get a chance because people were just enjoying, I think, the day. This hasn't been an easy pregnancy for you, and pregnancy in general isn't like what you see you know in the movies what was the biggest surprise for you i just think how sick i was that was i was shocked i've never ever like known anyone to be that sick and i mean i've had a few pregnant people around me i've had a lot of friends that have had babies and i just never seen them like so Mm. sick and so when i got really sick i was just i was like this is not this is not pregnancy like the biggest shock is i don't know 
just like the feeling of constantly being in like someone else's body like this huge like stomach you can't roll around the positions you sleep in you can't breathe mm. it's all quite shocking to be honest oh you it's just so reminded fine. me the first night that i was able to sleep on my stomach, stomach. again was so good don't because i'm a stomach ruined on, ruined only by giant <laughs> hot bazongas <laughs> your jugs oh my god now prepare for them to get yeah. most so unruly it gets, better. it gets better now you've got some married at first sight questions yeah really Martha. quickly before you go into the cone i saw michael upload a tiktok of you watching jesse the other day oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. i initially liked jesse i thought in the first couple of eps i thought he was kind of funny and going through his icks but then i saw from the episode you were watching i don't think you were a big fan of him <laughs> i just want to know what your general thoughts and vibes on him are well he just has He's come out and all he's said is everything he hates. Mm. He's never once said one thing that he likes yeah. or one nice thing. And he's just got this massive checklist. And I'm like, dude, maybe take a long, hard look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you come out with this massive checklist. And what yeah. about Harrison? Have you got a vibe off of him yet? Because oh, John right. Aiken told us that he is the worst, the worst in maths history. Oh, I was going to say, I don't even want to talk about him yeah, because, okay. like, I don't even want to give him that, like... Because mm. he wants that. He wants it. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you, you, you're you not that special. Like, you're really not. I don't know why he has, like, this, mm. like, arrogance and just... He's the ultimate gaslighter. Yeah. Like, the ultimate. Like, he's the best at it. <laughs> but don't you think that Married at First Sight... I've changed my tune. I, I loved it and then I hated it and refused to watch it. But now I think I've I understand what it is now. Yeah. Now it's you just know? entertainment. It's pure yes, entertainment. Yes, it's pure entertainment. Like the whole like little romantic bit to it. It's um, a soap opera. And it's the villains and the love. Yeah. It's it's, go- it's kind of gone and it's just entertainment now, which is great because it is entertaining. All right, let's put you in the cone. All right. It's very safe. Nobody okay. can hear us, so oh, we can awesome. really get personal. Okay. Ooh. So we do this. Alone at last. Thank God. Thank God. Wow. I've got I've got some fashion questions. Okay. I have recently adopted what I call the bum bag lifestyle. You can see that I'm wearing we one noticed. right now. Honest, brutal opinion. I love a bum bag. Do you? Yeah, absolutely love a bum bag. <gasps> I feel so vindicated. There's nothing more stylish than something that's functional. Like having something functional as part of your outfit is actually <laughs> the most stylish thing you could do. That means so much to me coming from you, Martha. I feel... Stop it. If only Jack could hear us, I could tell him to get stuffed. <laughs> oh, does he, is he not into the cone? He's not in the cone, and he, I don't think... He hasn't said, but I can tell that he doesn't embrace the bum bag oh, lifestyle. he doesn't no, no, like no. it. Second fashion question, and I've just done this this morning. I've got these amazing glasses, right, from Specsavers. Oh, that's where I get mine. They're so good. I lose them. In fact, these are a replacement pair for a pair I left on the top of a box of Cheese Whiz in an American supermarket because I can't be trusted. I've just purchased from Specsavers the chain. A oh, chain. I love the chain. Oh, that's two for two. I love it. I felt ge- I felt nervous to tell Jack that I'm now about to become the sort of woman that nanny, has a chain and nanny. A nanny. But you think that's okay. Yeah. And it's I, sort of stylish. No, it's it's very simple. Yeah. It's very chic. Like, I'd probably have a more blinged out one, but I love that for you. And it matches the frames really well. Next, can you reveal a name for your baby boy that you're not going to use? My mum has been calling the baby Giuseppe. <laughs> since we found yeah. out that I was pregnant before we even knew it was a boy. It's a nod to born. his Italian heritage, obviously. I, yeah, it's never going to be Giuseppe, <laughs> but she has been calling him Giuseppe. I know. I don't like the name, but for some reason I started calling him, Hey, Giuseppe, come stay. <laughs> and, now, and now the whole family and calls, friends and, and friends. everyone calls the baby Giuseppe. Mary, what is your one piece of advice for your glorious daughter? Oh, God, that's a hard one. I know, I know what you've told me so far. I know what her number one piece of advice would be. Okay, tell it. So her advice is, like, this is how oh, she yeah. raised us. Mm. Wait, do you know what I'm going to say, Mum? Yeah. What? Don't let the baby dictate your life. Like, if you want to go out till five and the baby's sleeping, let it sleep wherever. Like, <laughs> oh, we've got to go home now because oh, Giuseppe, Giuseppe needs, needs to be in his bed at five o'clock. 
<laughs> no, I never did that. I was playing cards at five in the morning while Martha was sleeping <laughs> on the floor in another room. And we were back Did you then. ever leave her behind? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> do you know there's so many photos of them at like taverns and restaurants like in the 80s and there's just like two chairs pulled together in a corner and you can see me sleeping on them. You turned out spectacular. So that's a good piece of advice. Yeah, I don't know. Be relaxed. Spectacular, Chrissy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's raise the cone. Thanks guys. Oh, so now you've told everyone you're a gambler. <laughs> Smoke a drink. I can see the headlines now. I know that you will be getting inundated with gifts for the baby. I'm sure that you've got everything that opens and shuts and stuff that you don't even know what it does until you get the actual physical human being. But I've bought you something. I don't know if you like oysters, but I know that when I was pregnant. Oh, my God, I can't wait to have an oyster. I thought so when I was pregnant and we're not allowed to do so many things and oysters is one of them. It's not as fancy as I would like, but it was the only one in the shop. It's the one that they use at restaurants. It's an oyster tray for you. Oh, Chrissy, you're so thoughtful. literally the biggest wine glass (laughs) I could find and one for you who's done all the hard yards. Congratulations. (laughs) (laughs) I should have filled it with a a nice... Shiraz and just thrown it at you as you walked in. Um, you're the best. Oh, best of luck. You're so going to nail it. Thank you're going to nail it. I love you. So thank you so much for coming oh, in. I love you, you Mary. Yes, guys. Thanks, guys. Chrissy's clickbait. Everyone's talking about Rihanna's Super Bowl uh, halftime performance, and why wouldn't they? It was extraordinary. She is. Pregnante. Yes. She's definitely pregnant. Her people have confirmed that uh, that she is pregnant. No one knows how far along she is. But by the time that this last song was being performed, night in the beautiful sea, I just do me happy. women all over the world were calculating <laughs> <laughs> the gap. The, the gap between having her son, who was born on May 13th, and falling pregnant with her second child wasn't very long. And I think we all, we've all been there. My last two were only 17 months apart. That's close. Which is close. It is close. But you know what? Meh. Get it done, you know. Get it done. And it happens, you know. And it was good. I didn't have to buy anything new. And you just sort of, of put course. the baby in everything. And I even had nappies left over from the second baby for the first. Like, it was just, it worked. It was it was good. Having said that, she's certainly got her work cut out for her, but women are amazing. Speaking of women being amazing, an article I saw that troubled me somewhat was uh, a photograph of Susanna Hoffs from The Bangles. You might remember this song. It's just another Manic Monday. They also had uh, Walk Like an Egyptian. They're an iconic 80s girl band. Really fabulous. Susanna Hoffs was the lead singer. She looks amazing. There's no doubt about it. It's a photograph of her playing guitar in a little outfit, smiling, beaming. Yeah, she's looks like now? she's there. Yeah, she oh, looks she like great. she's living her best life. And then a photograph of Madonna taken at the Grammys saying, can you believe that these women are the same age? Oh. It made me upset. Yeah. It made me upset because... Madonna, it just, it seems, what do you got to do to be judged on something other than the way you look? It's so ingrained. I mean, Madonna's an extraordinary artist, once in a lifetime sort of person. He's yeah. brought me and you and everybody joy and inclusivity and representation for 40 years. And we're still putting her up as up against an, a woman the same age that looks different. Comparison is the thief of all joy. It really Let's is. Stop. Also, on a side note, not talking about her looks, but yeah. is Madonna okay? Because <laughs> her Instagrams of late. You I'm know what? She is. Sure. She is a. She is an artist, and yeah. she is one of a kind. And whatever she's making you feel, that will be on purpose. Yeah, okay. She's extraordinary. She's yeah. really an ex- extraordinary woman. But I don't care how she looks. No. And I'm certainly not going to comment on it. Lastly, I read a little article that Edwina Bartholomew, Channel 7 darling, Mm -hmm. um, doesn't share a bedroom with her husband. They're still married. Right. But she has her own bedroom. And let me tell you, the greatest joy of my life is that I've got my own bedroom. And you would relate to her doing those sunrise breakfast hours. Yes. You want to wake up and just be alone. 
absolutely. And I just want my stuff. Yeah. So if you've read that article and if you're if you've ever thought, oh, I don't really want to share a bedroom with someone, you don't have to. Here's a news flash. You don't have to. You're allowed to have your own space just like you did when you were a kid. You don't have to share. And I really recommend it. <laughs> now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.